Slow start the first couple of minutes, but we picked it up uh, both offensively and defensively. Um, we shot 64% in the first half, which is a coach's dream to shoot that high percentage. Yeah. My guys are really sharing the ball. We're really playing. We were trying to get back to being a basketball team we were in December. That's what we're trying to do. And the last couple of games, I think we, we were headed in that direction. If we continue just to play with, 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 with a little more effort, a little more concentration, doing a little bit of periods where we needed, I think we can get back to that um, that play. All right, questions. What are your thoughts on the number of turnovers concerning the volume? It did. It was, it was unforced turnovers. Um, we we'll called play, and, and we just have our mind made up that we're going to pass the ball a certain way instead of reading the offense. And so, uh, really concerned about that. Maybe I got to do a better job explaining to them this is what we're going to do. If this is there, let's, let's pass it there first and not wait. And if it's not there, let's, let's, let's continue to move the basketball. Coach had five guys in double figures. Talk a little bit about the balance scoring. I right now, our offense, I think it's going to 95, 94, 88. Well, um, we're trying to. We, I, I knew they would be tired from last night, playing last night, and I thought Lucky and Vance, um, and uh, one had 18, one had 10, one played 20 minutes, one played 19 minutes, and we knew that we, if we just pushed the basketball early, it would kind of wear them down, and it, it, it did. Um, both guys were first team all conference uh, players. Uh, I mean, we had to play the year with Darius. I thought that Malcolm deserved to be on one team. He's really, he's really playing really good basketball. He's, he's getting a double double almost every night. So we figured that if we push the basketball on them by them playing last, last night, that it would help us. Joining Coach Davis far left is Medarius Gibbs in the middle of Mike, Malcolm Riley. Malcolm, talk about uh, your impact and how you think of him. Uh, so I just wanted to bring the energy. Um, it started in practice. We've we, we really been picking it up on the defensive side. So that was that really got us going because everybody on our team can contribute on the offensive side. So it really started on the defensive side. I want to just bring the energy on that. Leah Frazier Dixon with Bring the Pain Sports Talk here in Houston. Coach Davis, um, congratulations on your second Coach of the Year award for the SWAG. You. You're welcome. Talk to me a little bit about when you realize that this is going to be a special group that you'd be able to knock out some some heavy opponents early in the season and, and just really keep the momentum going into the swag. Well, my three years here, I thought we had all three teams that was capable of winning some games and outcomes. Unfortunately, uh, our mindset wasn't there to win those games. You can't win those games by going out and being high, making shots. Uh, on the road playing against great teams and, and really good coaches. Um, and what I told our team every year, I tell them every year, and the Darius will tell you this, uh, that we can go win these games, but we have to practice uh, and play the right way, uh, make sure that we give effort, our attitude is right, and, and, and we can win them. And, and I, don't, I don't think they understood how hard it is to go win on someone else's court special BCS school. It's just like difficult to do that. It's, it's unheard of. And uh, I think the Gonzaga game got us going because they they exposed us <clears throat> of all the things that I talked about in practice. And go to Michigan State and beat Michigan State and, and beat Kansas State and have all in a one point lead with 11 seconds going in the game. Showed our guys that we could do it. Unfortunately, we haven't played that way since we've been in our conference. And we're still able to go 16-2, and we're trying to get back to, the, to, to that that level of, of performance. And um, defensively, I think we're giving up a little bit too many points still. Um, but if we can focus on that end a little better, Coach Marsh is an outstanding defensive coach, one of the best in the country. So we know the rules are there. They just would not execute something they need to execute. Uh, at the right moments. The night, the first night they went and put a team in the free throw line uh, 25 times, and you can't do that. When we played in December against Kansas State, Michigan State, they didn't shoot 30 free throws because you're not going to win those games. And so uh, I knew that we could do something special, and we're going to continue to do special things here. 
but we have to believe early. It, it, it can't be once you walk on the course, okay, I believe it's too late. You have to believe in, in, in all this.